Hi everyone, I'm Josh Enderly. We're here at the compost demonstration site at Cornell Cooperative Extension of Broome County, and we're gonna be talking about composting in the winter. In winter, your compost pile still needs the same amount of attention, as in the balance between the greens and the browns, the water and the oxygen, to make sure everything's working properly. Um, here, we're using our welded wire bin this winter, slowly filling it up, and then it's gonna quickly decompose in the springtime. Filling this bin is a kind of a slow process here. Most of the material that goes into this is the coffee grounds from Taste New York store. Uh, we get about 40 pounds or so every couple weeks that goes right into this pile. We have some food scraps too that we get from staff members and then also from our break room. So it's gonna be slow to building it up, but I think by April, we should be up to about halfway, which will provide enough material to start heating up and breaking down pretty actively uh, in the springtime. Um, but right now, as you can see, snow has fallen and it's right on the middle of the pile here. And I don't really want to keep it on there because when the warmer weather comes around, all that snow is going to melt and all that water is going to soak into the pile and it could potentially be too much water, which means the compost pile will go anaerobic and not break down very well. So what we're going to do, we're going to remove this snow and then we're going to cover it with burlap and make sure that we keep the snow out or it's easier to remove in the future. And it kind of acts as like a blanket for our compost pile. I'm just trying to see how frozen it is in the middle now. You can see it's pretty difficult to get into. But I'm going to break it up a little bit. There's all those coffee grounds we were talking about before. You know, I'm a little curious. I just want to dig in the pile a little bit more, see what's going on in the center, especially. Um, you know, if this pile was like fully built and active, I'd probably turn the whole thing. Right now, I just want to see what's going on in there. I don't want to totally turn it and then maybe, you know, have all the heat dissipate. But uh, as you can see here, it's fairly wet. Uh, the outside looks really dry. Um, that's because of the, the cold and the wind just blowing through all these little holes, keeping it really dry on the edges. But in the middle, you can see, um, fairly wet. And we didn't cover the pile earlier from um, past snowfalls. We had record snow before. So what was I was thinking was true is that it soaked into the pile. And I don't want that to happen too much. Uh, again, it won't break down too well. Uh, right now, Seems to be doing all right. We'll come back on a little bit warmer day, maybe if it warms up a bit. Long shot in January, but you never know. So we'll put our shovel down. We'll add our burlap. Now I'm not expecting it to heat up just from doing that little bit of turning and putting in the burlap. And I mostly think that because we don't have a whole lot of material in there, I'd be, more inclined to think that it would heat up if it was filled maybe halfway three quarters or so because you really want about three cubic feet of material at least to heat up in the middle since we don't have that and we're continually adding food scraps and other material into this bin um we'll just wait until the spring for that so there you go that's a little composting update from the demonstration site here at Cornell Cooperative Extension in Broome County. Uh, if you're looking for more composting and recycling information, you can look at our website, ccebroomecounty.com.